that patrol. <laughs> In a season and a time of year which brings so much to the side of the rivalry, tonight we have a special one. For the third time this season and the ninth time in three seasons, the North High Polars and the Tartan Titans will face off, this time for a trip to the Section 4, 4A semifinals on the line. Alongside Jordan Gustafson, I'm Alex Weston. And Jordan, your second game with us here at SCC TV. However, your second time to see the North High Polars. What did you like out of them the last time you saw them? You know, Alex, they could shoot the three. They definitely knew how to guard the perimeter. And it's, honestly, they just played great defense. Meanwhile, on the other side for the Tartan Titans, a legacy of consistency and dedication to the craft of basketball, this being their 22nd consecutive season with uh, 20 victories in that course of the year. However, no state championships in that time. For a program that's so consistent, what do the Tartan Titans need to do in order to get over that hump in this section? Honestly, short life. You know, just forget about it. Uh, play the game that they obviously can play. Look at their record, right? They're 23 and 3, it looks like this year. I mean, the record speaks for itself at that point. Last time we broadcasted the Tartan Titans, Mark Klingsporn, head coach of the Tartan Titans, was three wins shy of 600. He got that the last time out as they took on the Hastings Raiders, and he was victorious, so now 600 career wins for Mark Klingsporn as coach. As we take a look here at the Section 4-4A bracket, you see the 4-5 matchup, North St. Paul and Tartan. A lot of good teams in that mix, too. Eastridge, number one, Creighton, Durham Hall, two, and Woodbury, three. It's a very tough, tough section to get out of. Some people would say it's most difficult in the state. Oh, absolutely, Alex. It, uh, <laughs> it's not going to be an easy road to the game, but uh, I look forward to looking how it goes. So the opening tip just about underway here from North High School. Again, a trip to the section final. You see Brandon Hickman, our senior player to watch for the North High Polars. 12.3 points per game and 26 play games played this season. North High at the home team. They will wear their home blacks and the Tartan Titans in the road whites. The opening tip goes into the stands. And it's ruled in favor of possession for the Tartan Titans, and they'll start out with the ball. The two teams played twice as in the regular season this year. Tartan lost both of those matchups, falling by four points on Valentine's Day and following by nine earlier in the year at the same date back in January. The Titans will start here in the offensive court. They do a good job of mixing old and new strategies as interior pass here. Langston Benz, leading point scorer, moving in there on the far perimeter. He'll hold it, trying to look interior for Benz. Pass is no good, but a three ball deep for Joe Perny. It's good. And the Tartan Titans are on the scoreboard first. Yeah, that was a good way to start it off with that nice three right there. North High back into the front court. Deep three ball, looking for the alley oop. He was almost going to get it as sky and high to get to it. The senior was not quite far enough as that was Richard Tillman trying to go up to get that one. Ball into the paint. It's tied up here. Possession arrow favoring North High in the early going. Driving to the perimeter again. This is a team, Jordan, that we see a lot of movement around the perimeter. A great block that time, though, by Tartan. It seems they've seen, because they've seen North High so much, they're able to defend that perimeter well. That's exactly what happened on that steal. Oh, absolutely, Alex. They do a good job at doing that. They proved it last time, and you know they're going to keep doing it throughout these playoffs. Joe Kearney, the first three points on the board for Tartan. The Titans lead 3 to nothing, 16-44 and counting. Here in the first quarter, the winner of this one faces off most likely against East Ridge in the semifinal round. We'll get a chance to show you that bracket throughout our broadcast tonight. Turn on the far side, it's Dorian Singer. Singer, a commit on the football side of things. He's certainly one of the top prospects in the state of Minnesota as a junior. Singer gets the back. Another three ball, hits the front of the iron, and the rebound gets collected back the other way here by Richard Tillman. Oh, Alex, it looks like they're starting off right, right with those three balls. North High into the front court. Working around the screen, but coming here onto the near side, Sean West Zimple back and again around the perimeter. The Polars will run, driving in the lane, trying for Muhammad, a turnover, and a chance there as Kearney knocked it out of the way, and the Polars will go back to restart. Driving in on the front lane, Sean West Zimple going up, tried to draw the foul, didn't get it. 
And already the Tartan Titans is to quite a run here to start play. Into the front court now, the Titans. Working out of their own defensive end. It's Joe Kearney. Kearney looking to set a play, trying to work around the screen of Zimple. Got it here further now, and a chance for Tartan. And they're trying to work onto the inside. Trying to drive it on the near side. Kearney passes here along the near side for Curtis Favors. All the way back now, Kearney. Kearney with the perimeter pass. Kaida trying to drive in the lane. Trying to go for the outlet pass. Quarter ball attempted three. No. An interior pass that time. Looking inside for Dorian Singer. Now on the rush. Sean West simple to the rack. It's up and it's good for the first two points of the game for the North High Polars. Yep, it looks like they're running a good zone defense, Alex, and after that, they definitely get, get on the breakaway there to score their first two points. Interior pass, nice pull-up jumper, no good that time as Langston Benz trying to get on the board. 14.53 remaining, 3-2 North High leads, or trails rather, as Tartan has that 3-2 lead. We'll have a timeout substitutions as replacing Aaron Murphy for North High will be Brandon Hickman as he comes in for the first time. And we'll have a sideline thrown again. The starting lineup you see there for the Tartan Titans, Dorian Singer, Joseph Carney, Leigh Kaita, who's wearing number 13, Langston Vins, number 11, and Curtis Favors, number 12. Here under the near side. So work again around the perimeter, trying to drive it in. Nice interior pass, trying to work his way back into the paint. It's no good. Pass going back in. Shahid Muhammad off the glass and in. Shahid Muhammad with two. He's pacing the North High offense. Four to three, Tartan Lee trails. Yeah, Alex, that was a really nice cut to the basket right there. Definitely got a little bit of separation and just made them pay. All the way at the near point, Benz. Got it here to the near side, looking for Kearney. Continues to dish pass. Oh, what a run here for the Titans. Interior pass, looking for Benz. Hits off the bottom of the rim. This should be North High ball, unless there was a foul called. And it looks like it will be a foul called. It will be a shooting foul and heading to the line for the first time tonight. It'll be number 11, Langston Bins. Yeah, it looks, it looks like he meant to go straight up there, but just got a little bit too much body on that foul. Four to three, the score. North High leading, 14 to 12. These two teams have played some incredibly close matchups over the years, specifically, as we mentioned, Jordan, in playoff time. First chance from Bins is no good. The North High fans like that. Last season, 2018-19, it was a 16-10 season for North, a 24-2 season for Tartan. And the Titans beat North St. Paul 83-63, a 20-point win in that section quarterfinal game. An over-arrival that has to feel good. Oh, absolutely, Alex. That's something that's going to be on the minds of everybody here during this, this game. Uh, you know, and it looks like the last two years they ended up splitting uh, both in this same game. So, I mean, this is definitely a high-stakes game for both teams. Was simple, tried the pull-up jumper, it's no good. Rebound back out here, on to the lane, and, and nice! We're under the basket for Richard Tillman. Interior pass, trying to go back, it goes off the hands of one of the polers, it's held in here. Dorian Singer going all the way into the front course, it can be carried up here now by Lay Kaita. Kaita got it further there, trying to draw the foul, but still puts the bucket in. Dorian Singer with his first of the night, and it's tied at six. And Alex, that was a pretty first to get there. I don't know how he kept his body in there, but he made that shot count. 13-20 remaining. Great pressure here by the Titans. A five-second call, and the Titans will get the ball. It's good defense pressure. right there, Alex. They kept him in the backcourt and made him, made him turn it over the ball. So I have a sideline throwing up coming here for North for Tartan. The interior pass got to here by Benz. Full court pressure from North High. Benz saw a lane, decided to pick it up, cut it back. Here's Dorian Singer again. Singer working around the screen, passes out to the far side for CJ Favors. Favors with a ton of space, could take a three if he chooses to. That's not really Tartan's MO. They don't throw up a lot of threes unless they have to. Benz trying to work around the screen. Got it inside for, for Favor. Favors goes out of bounds. North High ball. Yeah, it seems like they might have to start putting up some threes, though, Alex. The, you know, North St. Paul's putting in some really, really good zone defense here and forcing that outside shot, not letting them bring it into the lane. You saw there the North High starting lineup. As they've already switched a couple of players out. Brandon Langford Johnson, one of the key players out of this North High offense. Onto the far side. 
Work the ball back around. Langford Johnson trying to drive it in. Can we got to here at three ball. Up and good for Brandon Hickman is no good. It's rebounded here by Singer for Tartan. Six to six, 12, 27 and counting. We're certainly glad that you've joined us here for this one. Alongside Jordan Gustafson, I'm Alex Westhead. Trying to work on his way in. Benz with a three ball. It's no good as a hit off the side of the iron. Big rebound that time for Brendan Langford Johnson as the Polars look to head back the other way. Interior pass. We'll try to get around Langford Johnson with a nice couple of dribbles. Trying to go up with a foul block with authority that time by Lee Kaita. The ball is out of bounds and the Titans love it. Yeah, it's again, they're just playing lock on defense, not giving them an, even an inch of room to shoot that ball. There's a substitution here for North High. Sean West Simple comes out. He'll be replaced by Dallas Williams for the Polars. The Polars, one of the state storied basketball franchises. They've been very competitive in their conference over the last couple of years. Their last state tournament appearance came in 1999, a state tournament that saw them win third place. They have not been back since the 2016 season at which point they had to beat the Tartan Titans in the section championship in order to get there. Joe Carney working under the near side where C.J. Favors can have it. Working his way in off the glass and good. C.J. Favors on the board. Already four different goal, four different point getters for Tartan. And for Tartan, you really have to figure that they're going to try to spread the ball out as much as possible and have multiple different scores. Oh, absolutely, Alex. They definitely know how to move the ball around, create an open person, set the good screens. I mean, whatever they're doing seems to be working, so there we go. Deep three ball looking for Washington is no good. Great rebound and athleticism put up back there. And on the board, Brandon Langford Johnson with two. He's got four on the night already. Back into the front court, it's Benz. Working here onto the near side for Kaida. Kaida cuts it back, goes here for Benz for three to try to end the drought, no good. And it's rebound controlled here by North High. Great ball movement here by the Polars as they try to work it. Deep three ball, not foul called. Even though it looked as though there was contact, but Jordan says it got knocked off his hand. Yeah, Alex, it looks like he just got all ball there, just enough. If nothing else, he definitely got enough of the ball to make the ref just let it go. Eight to eight. 10-20 remaining first half. Deep three ball this time for Carney is no good. He started the scoring for Tartan. And so far for both of these teams, a lot of misses on both sides of the ball. Jordan, how do both teams correct that? You know, I, I think honestly, just, just make smart shots. You know, wait till you're really open. Don't force the shot. Uh, use those screens and everything that we talked about earlier to, you, to your advantage. Once you're open, I mean, take that shot. Langford Johnson with the ball. He's got four points on the night here for North High. Working there onto the far side, where can be gotten back further now and a chance. He's trying to drive into the lane, but unsuccessful in that attempt. They'll cut it back. Working his way in. Foul on the, no, really. I thought for sure he was fouled on the way in as Brandon Hickman went to the net. Back the other way now. Oh, a nice little alley -oop attempted there as the ball's ripped away that time by Dorian Singer. What a strength move by the Tartan Titans. Oh, absolutely. He definitely showed that he wanted the ball right there. Seems like, though, that the refs are kind of just letting him play out, huh? Definitely play out basketball. Again, we mentioned it before, as a deep three ball from the corner is too far. Rebound gathered there, and a foul called on the interior. They are asking if it's a basket foul or a shooting foul. The champ of the Tartan fans immediately to our left, air ball. Of course, a common champ between here. And it looks like they will call a shooting foul. There'll be a full timeout here, 9-11 remaining. Opening half, Tartan 10, North St. Paul 8. And so far, there's been some really quality chances on both ends and some real acrobatic plays where both teams' defenses have stood up. Oh, absolutely, Alex. Like I said, I mean, there's been blocks and there's been steals. It, they just, honestly, they're protecting the ball, and it's, it's going to be a defensive game. You see there the huddle of the North High Polars. Head coach Damian Johnson again as we take a look at the matchups here. Two teams that play each other out of the Metro East Conference. A win by North by 13 points. A very nice win at that on January the 14th. And on the other side on, Fe on Valentine's Day, four point win for North High. So these teams have familiarity. And we were talking with folks before the game on the North High side that said that they did not want to play this Tartan team again. 
How do you feel about that where you see a team three times a year? Do you want that team again, even though you know that you've beaten them twice already? Absolutely not. I mean, you know, it seems like at that point, the odds kind of go in the favor of the other way. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess personally, I wouldn't. Let's put it that way. So it's not a shooting foul before the play started. It'll be a baseline throw, and both teams have one fouls apiece. As the air ball chant resumes, the inbound is complete. Working along the perimeter. Ball can be regained here by Tillman as they try to go to the interior pass. Ooh, double team here. Good. It's effective so far. Nice little ball screen working in as they try to get it further for Brandon Hickman back up to the far wing. Great pressure here from the Tartan Titans. North High will have to reset here. Deep three ball. It's good for North High. That was a nice shot, Alex. They finally created that separation and got open just enough. So three points for number 12, Richard Tillman. Meanwhile, ball back into the front court on the Tartan side. Ball movement here for A.J. Burns. Burns trying to get it further for Favors, who gets it to go that time. He's got four points for Tartan. And the Titans regain the lead 12 to 11. Yeah, Alex, that was definitely some good post offense there. It was nice to see them play their inside game, too, as well as from the outside. Here on the near side, Richard Tillman moving across here. Deep three ball again, looking for Hickman. No good. Rebound controlled. And it's gotten to the hands of Joe Kearney. Kearney into the front court. A lot of experience on this Tartan roster. A lot of youth on the North High roster. As again, driving the lane, trying to get it to go up to go as he was hacked on the way down was Langston Benz, no good. Just one point on the ninth for the Titans leading point getter. Perimeter pass as the pullers look to slow things down here. You see the command from Dallas Williams here on the near side. Trying to work around, avoiding the pressure. Perimeter three again, trying to drive his way in. Hickman fouled on the way in. And not a shooting foul, only the second foul of the game here assessed to North High. Yeah, it definitely looks like he got a little bit too uh, too much arm on the body there. So it's a seam, the second foul for Tartan on the night. Sean West Simple back into the game for North. And it'll be a baseline throw on upcoming. 7.37 remaining, 12-11, Tartan leads. The winner of this one heads to the section semifinals, most likely against the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders, as they are opposed tonight by the Stillwater Ponies at the 1 8 matchup in 4 4 A. A very suburban East Conference heavy section, but lots of Metro East teams. And a deep three ball with no real intention of hitting the basket there. Jordan, you didn't like that shot selection. No, Alex, there was no space there. He, he threw up a highly contested shot. The odds are definitely not in his favor when he puts that up. Gonna have a foul on the interior, an offensive foul at that. I'm afraid we were both looking away from the play, but it looks like it'll be a foul on Tartan. That'll give North High a chance to take the lead. I think it might have been on the screen there. I think it might have been a moving screen, so. North High re-entering the front court. The work here on the near side. West Simple trying to work around the screen, trying to drive to the basket. Good defense by the Titans, though. Here on the near side. It's all the way at the point now for Brandon Hickman. Hickman with a little spin move, trying to get around further here. Shaheed Muhammad. Ah, Muhammad only has two points tonight. Knocks down the defender. Great pass to the outside. West Simple for three. It's good! Bowlers have a lead at two. It was a risky pass, but somehow it made it through there. And then once he caught it, he made him pay. That's for sure. West Simple, the leading scorer for the North High Polars as they gain the lead, 14 to 12. 6.30 remaining, opening half. We're gonna have a whistle and a timeout called by Tart. That's a timeout that the Titans needed to take because they looked like they were breaking down a little bit defensively in that call. Yeah, it looks like they were getting a little bit tired out there too. Um, I don't know, it seemed like they were kind of starting to stray off of their players a little bit, maybe just a little bit of confusion about move, where to move around, but I'm sure they'll get it back together. See there, Mark Lingsborn in the blue shirt in front, his 28th season as head coach of the Tartan Titans. 600 career wins. Tonight will be 601 for him. As you can see, a Minnesota Basketball Coaches Hall of Fame inductee in 2016, 10 conference titles, nine section championships, graduate of Tartan in 76. As you can see, he's done the school proud. Yeah, absolutely. Alex, I mean, he definitely knows what he's doing. He's out here to mentor the boys, but also to teach them the game, which, you know, is, when you find that in a coach, it's awesome. Again, you see there the North High uh, circle. Damian Johnson 
who is now in his, I believe, if I'm doing the math correctly, his third season as head coach in North St. Paul, 18 and 8 overall this year, with a 15 and 1 record in the Metro East. That lone loss came last week to Hastings, and in his third season, Damian Johnson, a record of 56 and 24. So certainly the budding start of a rivalry between these two schools, if there wasn't one already. Oh, absolutely, Alex. Damian definitely knows the game. I mean, you know, former U of M player, and he, he definitely is doing the exact same thing. He's just newer at it, that's all. Interior pass went off the hand of West Simple out in the paint, and it'll be a baseline throw up coming here for Tart. 14 to 12 the score. Not much going on, a lot of stout defense on both ends. Sean West Simple has five, he leads the Polars in scoring. Meanwhile, on the other side, C.J. Favors leads Tartan in scoring with four from the baseline. As the Titans look to inbound, can be gotten to all the way out here now for Kearney. Kearney, perimeter pass, looking further for Singer. Back to Kearney again at the key. Kearney, down and low, he got it further. Now as the Titans start to roll their bench a little bit, Caleb Dow, one of the captains for Tartan. Here under the near side can be gotten further for Favors. Round for Kearney again. Kearney, free throw pull up. It is in and out, and rebound can be gotten to here by Hickman. Starting a rush back the other way. It's Shahid Muhammad. Muhammad trying to go to the basket. He gets the foul and one. That was a nice cut there, Alex. Once he started to do that, he was on a one-man wrecking crew right to the hoop. Shahid Muhammad has been a star for the North High Polars throughout his years here. For Shahid Muhammad as a senior, he is certainly one of the players to watch tonight. He averages 18.8 points a game in 26 games played. He is something special to watch on this court for the, uh, for the North High Polars. Oh, absolutely, Alex. This kid's definitely going to go places, that's for sure. Singer will take a seat. C.J. Favors back in for him. The second attempt is good, and with that, Muhammad has five on the night for North. It's 17 to 12. Tartan is led by as many as four. This is the high, highest lead of the game for either team. Kearney looking back under the far side can be spun for Kearney again. Trying to work around this defense. The Polars look to use a zone. Onto the near side. All the way into the corner. Langsford Bins trying to spin, trying to put it up off the glass and good. And that cuts the Tartan deficit to three. Interior pass right back the other way. Slam down to get it to Aaron Murphy. Back up and in. Impressive by Aaron Murphy for her his first point of the night. Yeah, that was definitely nice, Alex. Good job getting his own rebound boxing out there and then making him pay with the uh, second, second chance shot there. Dow lost the handle and the Titans will take, will have to take another defensive stop. Interior drive. The Titans would work so well defensively in the early part of this first half have struggled a bit here, especially to box out. But a great job that time to force the ball out of the hands of Muhammad. Inside, Hickman trying to work there, almost to travel. They know they rule that he got ball. Three ball is out and no good. And it can be rebound and collected here off of C.J. Favors and a Joe Carney to start the offense back the other way. Yeah, Alex, I think what the uh, Charton fans are a little bit upset with right there is that there maybe should have been a traveling call because because he had the ball, you know, I, I think the only reason the refs didn't call it was they both had it and they think the defense had more of it. Joe Kearney for three. He's got six on the night for the Titans. Back out of the front, out of the backcourt now. Muhammad. Takes the ball up front, four minutes remaining here, first half. Polars 19, Titans 17. Again, we're glad that you've joined us. However, you're able to join us here on SEC Sports. The winner again gets a chance at the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders in the next round of the Section 4 4 A playoffs with Target Center waiting on the line. Interior job, it's a jump ball. The arrow favors North High, so they'll retain possession. Substitution here. As a couple of folks back into the game. As Lay Kaita returns into the game for Tartan. There's a substitution back in as Brandon Linkford Johnson is back in for the North High Polars. Polars able to get it in. Trying to work his way in. Oh, nice little exterior pass. 4 3. Hickman gets it to go. They've been trying to set Hickman up for the three for much of the first half. They were finally able to get it that time. Yeah, absolutely, Alex. It looks like they spread the ball around just enough to get the open person, and then once they did that, there was that three. 
Darton with possession in the front court. Trying to drive his way in. Oh, he drew contact and won the other way for Tartan. Oh, that was nice, Alex. He definitely brought it in there, created a lot of contact, still somehow made the shot. Now he's going for that and one. Langston Benz, a 6'2 senior for the North uh, for the Tartan Titans, will head to the line for one. It's a bowler's lead now cut to three. Again, we take a look here. Great job of continuing to move to the basket and drawing that contact to get the and one. Oh, absolutely, Alex. The extra point is good. Not the extra point. It's not football season yet. The free throw is good. And the Polar Halid now cut to two. We knew this one would be special. It certainly has been so far. Muhammad working around the screen, trying to drive into the paint, puts it up. No good. Off the glass. Can be rebound collected here back the other way by Caleb Dowd. Working to the front court. Carney for a corner ball. That is a little bit too short. And the rebound can be gathered up by North as they'll start back the other way. Yeah, Alex, it definitely seemed like they had enough separation there. Just, uh, you know, the shot was just a little bit ill-timed. And next time. On to the far side. Trying to drive around. Pass back here through traffic. Lankford Johnson trying to, ooh, a nice little shot from the elbow. That's good. But Brandon Lankford Johnson just filthy from the elbow for North. He got him a little bit on the step there, Alex. And once he did that, it definitely seemed like he, uh, <laughs> he knew what he was doing all along. A quadruple team from North. Forces Dow to the corner. We're going to have another substitution. As subbing back in, A.J. Burns will be replaced by C.J. For favors. Another substitution as Dowd is out. He'll be replaced by DeMarco Celli. Baseline inbound here for Tart. Going all the way back, looking for C.J. Favors. Pass here again for Kaita. Kaita around the screen. Bins for three wide to the left. And the rebound gathered up here by North. Yeah, Alex, I don't know if I liked that shot. It seemed a lot, you know, to be really rushed. And, uh, gosh, you know, they can spread the ball. They just got to keep moving it. Again, we got no shot clock. So, you know, I mean, they can take their time and set that shot up. Pass for West Simple. No good. And the rebound controlled with authority that time by C.J. Favors. Tartan will slow it down. 24-20, a minute 43 remaining. First half of play. Carney working around the screen of Favors. Drives it back to the top of the key. He'll have it again. Trying to work low. Got him back. A nice little play in front looking for Charney. And Tilly and a foul. Alex, once again, that was nice. Created the contact, made the shot. Pep followed through. Just now he's got that free throw to go for. As always, when these two teams play each other, a nice contingent on both sides for North and for Tartan. And the Tartan fans in Air Force Blue seem to like that one. Second chance of the line here for DeMarco Celli. As he's got his third point of the night, we're going to have more substitutions. That's coming back into the game for North Dallas. Williams will be in, replacing uh, Richard Tillman, I believe. And it'll be a baseline inbound here for North with a minute 30 remaining. Looks like they're just trying to give some of their starters a little bit of rest time before half. That way, maybe they can kind of go over a little bit of strategy before they get into that locker room. In the front court, looking like a set play, double team on the ball. They try to work here on the near side for Langford Johnson. He'll back it up, looking to restart and reset the play again. Minute nine and counting. In no rush here is North. As we'll wait to see dribbling Langford Johnson as the play will reset. This is something that we have seen in the past out of Tartan. And again, we're still waiting for something here. Langford Johnson working here onto the near side. Now that we have action resumed, Langford Johnson again. It would appear that the Polars seem to be content to wind this clock down in order to take the last shot of this half. Oh, exactly, Alex. Alex, <laughs> last, uh, last possession is highly important, especially in a game as close as this. We've got a one-point game right now. Muhammad oh, with a three-point game. Oh, that was nice, Alex. He just kind of caught him off guard, took it right to the hoop. Muhammad with seven for North as they lead by three. Turnover right at the center court line, back the other way. West Simple with 20 seconds left. Driving to the basket, he's fouled. Couldn't get the shot to go, but he'll head to the line for two. Yeah, Alex, he got that steal, went on a fast break, and made Tartan pay on that one. So West Simple to head to the line for two. He leads the Polars in points tonight with seven for the black and red. 
Foul goes on Langston Benz. That's his first of the night. 14 fouls for Tart, three only for North. And so West Simple will shoot two. First one is good. That gives him eight on the contest for the 5'11 senior. I'm sorry, not that's not correct. The 6'2 sophomore, rather. He again has six on the night. One more chance for Sean West Simple, 16.6. As Tartan trails by five, North leads by five after that shot. So a quick rush back up the other way with 16.6 remaining here. Tartan able to inbound. Kearney with 14 seconds left. Joe Kearney trying to work around Muhammad. Great defense that time by the Polars. Muhammad creates some separation. Muhammad with six seconds remaining, trying to get that last shot off. Langston Benz, great defense here by North. Benz with a shot at the buzzer, no good. Rebound got to here by North, but it won't matter. And after 18 minutes of basketball, North High came out here with a definitive game plan. The defense was there, a little sloppy at times for both sides, but North High leads the half 28-23. What did you think of that first half? I thought it was I thought it was special. I mean, they both came out here knowing what they wanted to do, knowing who they were playing, knowing that this was a big game for both of them. They've been here before. And it seemed like they both had kind of relatively the same game plan, too, Alex. They played some zone defense, and they did, passed it a lot around the perimeter. When they could bring it in, they did, but they didn't let them do that a lot. We'll be back for the start of the second half again. North leads 28-23, and North won both matchups in the regular season between these two schools. We'll be back for the start of the second half after some highlights in just a few moments. This is your home for Polar and Titan basketball. I'm Arielle Winter. If you're anything like me, your pets are not only your best friends, they're part of your family. American Humane, which has been rescuing animals like Cleo here for more than 100 years, has life-saving tips that can make a big difference before, during, and after disasters such as hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, or wildfires. So when disaster strikes, you want to be prepared to protect them. Be sure to microchip or tag your pets. Never leave them behind in a major crisis and be sure to have an emergency kit ready in your home at all times with a pet crate or carrier, leash, blanket, ID, and medications, their water bowl, and seven to 10 days worth of food. To find out how to protect your entire family during a disaster and help our best friends in their worst times, please visit AmericanHumane.org. Jason, let's go see your room. What do you think? We kept it a little spare, so you can decorate it how you like. Dinner. Hello. Excellent. Soccer is fun. Yeah, I saw you guys out there. We're in the room. We're in the room. Section 4 for a quarterfinal matchup alongside Jordan Gustafson. I'm Alex Westhead. And Jordan, a first half between these two schools. That was a very period of back and forth between North High being really, 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 really strong and Tartan being really, really, really strong. But either way, North High is the one that leads by five here at the halftime. Oh, absolutely, Alex. I mean, you can definitely tell that these guys have played each other in the past. There's a strong rivalry here. I mean, both teams came out wanting to win. And with, again, like I mentioned, kind of the relatively uh, same game plan, if you will. We took a look here at a couple of the highlights. Again, North High really dominating from that three-point arc, but 
Harden doing their best to re refrain and respond from that three-point arc line as well. Oh, absolutely. They're both playing really good zone defense, and it's, you know, for the most part, it's really working out for them, I think. I think they just got to figure out a way, both sides, to, uh, you know, kind of limit those threes. A couple of corrections for you, too, from the North High sideline. Brendan Langford Johnson is the one wearing number 12 for North tonight. He's got three points and two fouls. On the other side, LeRon Thomas is the one wearing number 24. He has three points tonight for the North High Polars. So far here, again, we've seen periods of back and forth. The defense has been stout and really effective on both sides. And it's been the pressure along the perimeter that's really allowed both teams to maintain and hold the way things are going, where neither team has really been able to get into the inter interior at all during no. the course of this game. Oh, absolutely, Alex. It's definitely anybody's game here still. Um, you know, I think they both need to, again, just come out a little bit tighter. Um, really just take smarter shots, too. We saw a couple thrown up that were, you know, maybe questionable, if you will, but uh, for the most part, they've been taking really good shots. We talk about, again, here, the rivalry between these two teams, the ninth time in the past three seasons that these two teams have met up with each other. You mentioned earlier in our broadcast here tonight, Jordan, that the two teams split the last two playoff matchups. They met in 2019 with North High losing to Tartan 83-65, and then they met again in the 17-18 playoffs with Tartan losing to North by a two-point score of 49-47. to And for both of these teams, a win tonight would mean something really important. Oh, absolutely, Alex. It would be a huge motivation heading into the rest of those playoffs. Meanwhile, we're back here, ready to get started and ready to get underway here from this one. Again, North High Gymnasium, the winner gets the winner of the Stillwater and Creighton Durham Hall matchup. Again, the four, four A rankings in basketball, according to Minnesota Basketball News. These two teams have been here fairly evenly. Number 13's been North, number 14 has been Tartan for much of the past few weeks. And these two teams always on a collision course. But we talked earlier in our broadcast too about 4-4-A, Creighton Durham Hall at three, Eastridge at 12. This is a very tough section to get out of. Oh, absolutely, Alex. No matter who wins here, it's definitely gonna be, you know, the second they're done with this game, they're gonna be looking forward into what they need to do to win the next one. Back here for the start of the second half. Immediately a basket back the other way by Joe Carney, who has 11 points already on the night for Tartan. Alex, that was definitely a nice cut right to that hoop, and once he got there, he wasn't stopping. Pass here, Shaheed Muhammad with a three ball, no good. A rebound can be gotten to here by the North High Polars as it went off of West Zimple's hand and out of bounds. It'll be a Tartan inbound. And again, we've seen so many times here where leadership has been the prime example. Both of these teams, their seniors are really what makes a difference in allowing them to take the lead in close contests and really push forward and carry that lead as they move. Well, Alex, a lot more about basketball is more than just, you know, scoring the points and everything else, too. It's also about being that leader out there, and you find that a lot of the time in seniors. Brendan Langford Johnson with the block. That gives North High a little rush on the throw-in attempt there from Brandon Hickman is no good. We've mentioned before in the past in tonight's broadcast that head coach for Tartan as a no, the three ball is good. With plenty of room for Joe Kearney. He's got 14 now on the night for Tartan. That was a nice shot, Alex. He definitely had that separation, and he made them pay on that shot. Again, we mentioned this will be a foul on the perimeter. It'll be the first foul of the half for either side. We're tied at 28. We mentioned that North St. Paul head coach Damian Johnson in his third season as coach of the North High Polars. He's in the building, but he's not on the bench tonight. He received a double technical in North High's last regular season contest against Hastings. So he is in the building tonight, and you still see him going through the actions of coaching, even though he's on the opposite end of the court from the bench. Oh, absolutely. There's no way he's going to not coach in some aspect here, Alex. Muhammad. Trying to drive, cuts it back, gets it here into the near side. Great perimeter passing here as Langford Johnson goes for a three ball. Interior pass is knocked down before again a wide miss on the attempt that time from Aaron Murphy. And back the other way now comes the Tartan Titans. They led early in the first half before North High went on a run and a deep three ball here from the hot man. Joe Kearney is no good. It goes back out to the point where they can restart. Working back their way on in. They'll cut it back once again. Here's Kearney. Carney onto the far side looking for CJ Favors. Favors back to the point here once again. It can be gotten further along now and a chance all the way as Favors looking for the inbound, looking for the pass. Good perimeter defense here by North. 
And a tip pallet ball the act the other way, and a chance for Laurent Thomas. Up, try, got up, but the block on the other end for Tart. Oh, wow, Alex. That was something. Holy cow. Wow. You know, we knew they were going to come out here and have to do something special, Alex, and wow. That's all I have right now is wow. But Ron Thomas with a run right to the basket. Look at this defense by Joe Kearney, who's all over the court for Tartan tonight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I still can't believe that block, Alex. That was, that was wow. That was special. Inbound pass here for Tartan. Benz gets it further for Favors now and a chance for Kaita. Kaita. All the way back here now, Dorian Singer. Singer trying to cut it back, working his way into the paint. Pull-up jumper from the free throw strap is no good. And the rebound collected here back by Laron Thomas. Tied at 28, 15-28 remaining. As the North High Pole is working in the front court, Muhammad driving to the paint, dishes out for a perimeter. Three is up, and it's good for the North High Polers. Yeah, Alex, that's what they needed to really quiet that opposing team's crowd right there. John West Zimple has 10 points on the night now for North. As he leads all North scores, working back inside. Kaida tried to dish it back out to the perimeter. It's gone to here again here. What a move by Langston Ben, but could not get it to fall. Ball is on the ground. They'll fight for it. Whistle blows. Arrows pointing for North. Alex, that was definitely some good defense. They both went up, both had possession of the ball. Took it to the ground, though, and uh, ultimately North has possession. 31-28. North leads. We're starting to see the intensity ramped up between these two teams as we expected in this rivalry contest. Oh, absolutely. They both came out strong. I'm sure they had a little pep talk during halftime, and I'm excited to see where the second half goes. Thomas at the point works it here to the near side for West Simple. Working around the screen, a foul on the inside as he was driving to the basket. That'll be a foul on Langston Benz. And take a look there. You see Tartan has not trailed frequently when at the half this season, but they're three and two when trailing at the half. Both of those losses came to these North High Polders. Yeah, Alex, like I said, I mean, that's, that's one of the best things that creates a good rivalry, right, is knowing that, hey, we're out here, we know what we need to do, and just come out and do it. Rebound gotten to by favors on that miss. Trying to bring it into the front court here is Tartan. Working around the Favors screen. Ben oh, spun a man out of his shoes. Favors will reset Kearney again. Why not? Oh, too strong on that one. And it's going to be rebounded here this time by Brendan Langford Johnson, who will start it back out into the front court. Langford Johnson for Muhammad along the wing, driving into the perimeter. Oh, nice little contact there, but no foul gets called. And now Tartan can start it back the other way. Turnover. What a steal by Muhammad for three. Almost batted down as he's falling to the ground. Wow, Alex, I think he was looking for a foul call there, but it doesn't matter. He put that three right in. 34-28, North leads, taking advantage of a mismatch. On the way to the lane, Singer gets the foul. Oh, that was a nice cut too, Alex. So it'll be another foul here. That's We're watching foul trouble, certainly something to watch for North High. That's the third foul of the contest called on Langford Johnson. They have two Team fouls in the second half. Something to watch, too, as five is the number to foul out here in the Minnesota State High School League. First attempt from the free throw line is good for Dorian Singer. He's got three to nine for Tartan. will be another substitution. Is back into the game now comes Dallas Williams as he will replace Langford Johnson again in foul trouble. Yeah, they're definitely going to want to rest him and save him. So obviously they take him out right away, and we'll just see how long he sits. Singer's second chance at the stripe is up. It's no good. Rebound goal, though, is controlled by Kaita. Singer trying to work around the defense of Muhammad. Those Always. offensive rebounds, Alex, are really going to start to be important here. And it seems like so far, Tartan's really kind of been outweighing him. Here's Benz working on the near side for Favors. In the corner, interior pass looking for Benz. Goes off the hands of Zimple. Benz to the basket, no good. Rebound gotten to here again by Brandon Hickman, who's been a very strong rebounder despite playing out as a point guard. Muhammad driving to the lane, picks it up, it's no good. Rebound up into the air, big steal and take away that time by Dorian Singer. Singer into the front court, driving into the paint, nice little spin move, pull up jumper, it's good, and the Titans are within three. Oh, that was a good coast to coast there. 
definitely put up some really good defense, brought it all the way up, scored the nice little two-point basket there. Time out on the court, 12.57 remaining. North High 34, Tartan 31. Again, nine times this will be the ninth matchup in the past three years between these two schools. Tartan has won six of the last ten between them, and they've met in the playoffs again in uh, 2019 and 2018. The last time that in the last ten is they, they play each other so frequently, and look at these scores here between the two. The offense is often on display when these two teams play each other. Oh, absolutely, Alex. Uh, you know, it, it seems like they're really kind of doing the same thing, right? I mean, they're both playing the zone defense. They're both running, you know, for the perimeter shots, trying to create that separation. And and the scores show that. I mean, absolutely. Look at here. You got 50 to 46, 69 to 56. They're all right there. Timeout has been completed. It'll be a north inbound from underneath the Tartan basket. Again, we haven't seen an overtime contest between these two schools in quite some time. With 12.57 uh, remaining, we might see one tonight. Four timeouts left for North, three for Tartan. Two fouls apiece here in the second half. Inbounded here by North as he'll start to carry back into the front court. Dallas Williams working on the far side. Williams as everybody loads up on the near side. With pass working inside for Muhammad. Trying to dish it back out. Taken away back the other way by Dorian Singer. Singer cutting it back. Trying to put it up. Oh, he's tied up there. And the whistle blows. They're going to call a jump ball. And the arrow goes Tartan's way. Seems like he kind of ran him out of his shoes there, Alex. And, uh, you know, he had the separation. But the other guy was able to pick him up there and stop the shot from happening. So it'll be an inbound coming here for Tartan. It'll be Benz to do so. It's Langston Benz. On the inbound, looking to find a receiver. He's able to get it here for Singer, the wide receiver for the Tartan football team. Singer trying to drive in. It's taken away by West Simple. Gathered up again here by Williams as he tries to work into the front court. Slowing things down now for North. Williams. Again, you see that hand motion to his teammates. Slow, calm. He'll try to do that as Williams driving into the paint. He's got plenty of room, but could not get it to go. A nice run from Williams goes by the wayside. Oh, absolutely. He had the separation there. Unfortunately, he just wasn't able to quite finish that shot. The work around the perimeter here will be the Titans. Off the hands that time. Kearney has it right here in the corner. Kearney will dribble it back out here to the top of the key as a reset. Looking for Kearney again. Interior pass looking for Kaida. Ooh, a whistle blows. Travel called. It was right in front of us here, Jordan. Did you see it? Yeah, it looks like he just took, you know, that step before he put the ball on the ground, and unfortunately, that is a travel. Baseline inbound here for Tart or for North. You see there again the statistic on your screen: 13 and two for North when leading at the half. Again, a very tough schedule start of the year for the North High Polars before they started to open up into the Metro East play. That was an intentional design, of course, by the activities director. Got to play the best, and you got to beat the best in order to be the best. Into a drive in the lane. What a block again by Tartan's A.J. Burns. That was nice. He just rose up right over the top of him, put his hand right on top of the ball, and didn't let go. We'll have a timeout here. Or not a timeout, excuse me. As substitutions will come in. A couple of changes as Jaquan Wright comes into the game for the first time for North. Also returning Aaron Murphy. And then Brendan Langford Johnson again in foul trouble with three fouls on the night for, uh, for North High as they will go into a full court press here now against the Titans. Polers lead by three, 34-31 on the near side. Carney leads the, pole, leads the Titans rather in scoring with 14. Carney again with the ball on the pass here from Bins. Bins with it, fourth three from deep downtown. It's good! That was a nice shot, Alex. Langston Bins with three. He's got nine on the night. We're tied at 34. Into the front court. Langford Johnson. Works around the screen that time of Aaron Murphy. Johnson working here for Muhammad again. Deep three balls, no good. Hits the side of the iron. It can be rebounded here by Tartan. They look to take a chance and take a lead for the first time since the early minutes of the first half. Into the front court. Dorian Singer. Singer trying to work on the defense of Muhammad. A nice poke by Shaheed Muhammad. Before it's gotten to here, wide three ball here for Kearney. It's good! Alex, that was nice. He definitely had all the room in the world right there to put that up, took his time, and switched it home. Joe Kearney with 17 on the night for Tartan. They regain the lead at three. 37-34, Air Force blue and silver lead. 
Muhammad, nice little behind the back move to cut it back to restart. The Titans fans and the coaching staff love that. Muhammad on the far side for Murphy. Can be held in here by Langford Johnson. Langford Johnson got fouled on the interior by Dorian Singer. He doesn't like that. That'll be the third foul called on Tartan here in the second half. Again, seven is the bonus. It's a third team foul for them. Yeah, Alex, you know, a call like that could go either way, but more often than not, that's definitely go for the offense. Carney has two team fouls for Tartan. As well as Langston Benz also has two for the Titans. Has the ball back inbound here. It can be controlled here by North under the near, under the far side. Driving into the lane. Sean was simple. Had the lane, chose to dribble left back. Working back in. Nice little shot this time. He did not get it to go with LaRon Thomas. It's rebounded by the Titans as they'll slow it down. Once again, Alex, like we talked about, just not quite room to shoot that ball there. Not a lot of separation. Um, you know, just got to take smarter shots. Front court possession here now for Tartan as will try to work back onto the inside. Can be gotten there onto the far side for A.J. Burns who tried to drive it into the lane. Dorian Singer had it on the ground, lost it out of bounds. Tartan ball. So the ball will stay here. It'll be a baseline inbound upcoming for Tartan. 9.33 remaining, 37-34, Titans lead. Dorian Singer to inbound. Chaos moves in front. Deep three ball for Langston Benz. It's good. Langston Benz hot from beyond the three point arc. Timeout North. Alex, he's hit his last couple here. He is definitely warming up, and you can definitely see that. Timeout Polars. 40 34. Titans lead. 9 27 remaining second half. Jordan, the story of this game so far is that the Titans led in the early parts of the first half by as many as six. North led by as many as five, but now Tartan has started to rebound to retake that lead, and it's been this man, Langston Benz, who's been powering the three-point ball for the Titans. Oh, absolutely, Alex. It seems like he just, he just knows his shot's on right now, so when you're on a streak, you just take that shot. Timeout again here on the court. It'll be a brief timeout. Again, if you have any interest in volunteering for those of us here at SCC, you can do so by reaching out to Arlen Becker, who is our wonderful star of all things SCC sports broadcast related. He is at Arlen at SCCTV.org, or you can give him a call at 651-747-3821 to find more information and to come out and call games with us. Additionally, you can come and be one of those wonderful camera folks, just like our friends there in the wonderful red T-shirts. Additionally, you can follow us on social media. All the social media happens to be whatever website you would like, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube at slash SCCTV or on Twitter at SCCTV Sports. You can also follow myself at Alex Westad for all things Fab 4 related. Baseline inbound can be gotten to here by North High as it will be Brandon Linkford Johnson who takes it into the front court. Polers have not had a basket. It's been a 9-0 run here for the Polers as they led at 1.34-31, but they have not had a basket in about two minutes. Deep three ball for West Zimple is too strong. Rebound gotten to again here. They put it back up, and that ends the drought as Dallas, as, I'm sorry, Aaron Murphy gets onto the scoreboard. Okay, yeah, Alex, they definitely got to keep doing that, right? Get some more offensive rebounds here and some second shot chances. Contact away from the ball as a foul goes against Sean West Simple. That's his second. Again, tied in lead for points on the nine for the North High Polars with Shahid Muhammad and Sean West Simple, both with 10 for North High. Sideline inbound can be taken here again. Benz trying to drive to the basket, working around the screen. Nice job to pull back to deep three. There's no good rebound can control here by Murphy, who outlets pass it here to Brendan Langford Johnson. Into the front court. Langford Johnson working around the screen, trying to draw a foul. He was able to get it. Oh, and the North High fans were wondering about that, or at least the Tartan fans were. They were looking for a charge on that play. Oh, absolutely, Alex. You know, it kind of looked like he was set down there, had his feet outside of the paint, and unfortunately, it, uh, it was just too close. And you see there again, the coaching staff looking for an explanation. They won't get one here, although I thought for sure, I thought we were going to get a charge on that. Oh, absolutely, Alex. I mean, seems like the net had just missed the call there, but, uh, you know, it's bound to happen. You can't get everything right. So shooting foul. 
sends Brendan Langford Johnson to the line. He makes his first attempt. He's got four points on the night for North. 40 to 37, Tartan leads. Again, the winner of this one headed to face off against Creighton Durham Hall, most likely against Hastings in Hastings in the second round of this Section 4-4A bracket, which will take place on Saturday, the 7th. The start time for that contest will be at 7 p.m. Langford Johnson, second attempt, no good. A little bit of contact away from the ball is not called. Again, Jordan, you mentioned earlier in the first half that the referees were tending to let these players play this one out because it's playoffs and because of the rivalry between the two as well. But a deep three ball here is good. And now, all of a sudden, Dorian Singer hot from beyond the arc. Eight points for Dorian Singer, North High. Leads by, or I'm sorry, Tartan leads by six. Interior pass looking for there, goes off. Can be rebounded here again by Muhammad. Muhammad trying to work around the triple team. Ball's interior, it's gonna be a jump ball called? No, timeout North. 8-11 remaining, Tartan 43, North High 37. And what's been a fantastic back and forth contest, but the Tartan Titans appear to be slipping away. Oh, absolutely, Alex. I mean, it just seems like they, I don't know, they're they are controlling possession of the ball. They're working it around. They're making smart passes. They're finding that open three, too, once once the defense just kind of legs off a little bit. And they're, they're making the most. They're capitalizing off it. Again, we're going to take a look at the Metro East standings. You see there, as they are so frequently. North St. Paul, 15-1, Tartan 13-3. Again, the difference in the Metro East this year is just those head-to-head -head losses where North beat Tartan. And really, that was the difference. Again, you see there the rest of the Metro East, Hastings in there, South St. Paul, Miami, I Simley, Sibley, St. Thomas Academy, and then the Hill Murray Pioneers rounding out the bottom of the Metro East standings. But really, these two teams, top of this class, top of this section, year in and year out. Oh, Alex, they're definitely well coached, and they're well played. Players come in. They work hard. They, they make the most of their season. Well, I have a baseline inbound up coming here. As it'll be Langford Johnson to inbound. Three team fouls for North, four team fouls for Tartan. And Langford Johnson, the only one in real foul trouble. He's got three. No one else is more than two. On to the far side. You can work around the perimeter here as much as they'd like, but they're trailing by six. Trying to drive in the lane, Muhammad. Trying to get it further for Hickman, then around again. As Langford Johnson works here on the near wing. Langford Johnson driving to the paint. Pull-up jumper is no good. Rebound control here again. And those fast shots, not the steady shots, it might be what St. North St. North St. Paul's chances here tonight. Oh, absolutely, Alex. It just seems like right now they're just, they're, they're trying to get those points back quick. What they need to do is they need to look for that smart, open shot, take their time, and make it. Ben's interior pass looking for Kytus taken away at the same time. If you're Tartan, you can't be passing the ball so recklessly. Oh, absolutely, Alex. Nice little, uh, nice little contact shot there. No call, though. Shaheed Muhammad down with 12 points in the night. It's a four-point game. Tartan leads 43-39. Working here to the near side. Pass looking for C.J. Favors. Working towards the paint, up towards the basket. He got it to go! Another foul, another situation that could have gone as a charge the other way. Oh, absolutely, Alex. I don't know what they're seeing here. They obviously have a closer view than I do, though. Here it is again. Oh, you know what? He was outside that line. I, I do think that should have went the other way. It's another chance of the line for C.J. Favors. He's got six tonight. The extra attempt is good. And that'll be seven points of the night for C.J. Favors as the Titans lead regained to seven. Interior pass line for Johnson. No shot. Ooh, they're going to call another foul on the Titans. Wow. I don't know, Alex. That. That's a few now. They kind of look like maybe they could have been charges too. So they're going to count the basket. It'll be a trip to the line here for Brendan Langford Johnson. The lead again for Tartan now back to five. 6.56 remaining. Again, five team fouls for Tartan. Four for the Polars. And again, these two teams were Tartan swept, or Tartan was swept in the regular season series. As Langford Johnson's basket is good, that gives him seven on the night now. Out of the backcourt, Tartan trying to evade this full court press. They have eight seconds by rule to get the ball into the front court. They're able to do so. Kearney 
Works it back here to the top of the key. Double team evaded as it gets into the corner here now for Kaita. Had plenty of space. Interior pass looking for Bins. Bins trying to drag it around. Going back. Great ball perimeter here. Movement for Kearney. No good. It's off the bow. Rebound gathered up here by the Titans. And back in for CJ Favors. Wow, that was a good shot. I don't even know, but it looked like he threw it up behind his head. <laughs> Muhammad. Into the front court, deep three ball is no good. And again, the quick shots have not been working for North. Foul called, though, and it'll be another possession held on to here by the North High Bowlers. Alex, those rush shots are really kind of starting to take their toll here. We gotta, they gotta throw some, I don't know, just some smart shots. Langston Bins receives the foul. It's three on the night for him. As a baseline pass incoming, Langford Johnson gets it all the way back to the point. As they can dive once again, Muhammad trying to drive his way into the basket, uncontested, but the ball hits off, and another foul is called. You know, it's, it seems, Alex, that he's really just trying to get a shot going at this point, right? I mean, it hasn't really been falling as much as normal, and the only way to really fix that is to shoot your way out of it. Joe Kearney now with three fouls in the night. That puts North into the bonus, the one and one opportunities. And first to have that chance at it, Shahid Muhammad with 12 points in the night, make it 13. Insane back and forth here. Tartan leads by 5, 48-43, pending the second shot. A couple of dribbles by Muhammad. Free throw attempt is good. And with that, 14 points in the night for Shahid Muhammad. The lead again for Tartan is 4. Been a fun one, but still lots of time left with 6.07 and counting remaining. Kearney trying to work around the full court press. Kearney again blocked, nuts at that by Shahid Muhammad. Sean was simple back the other way. Pass looking for Langford Johnson. No, Hickman rather as it's in. And a two point game now after the basket by Hickman. Full court press on again for North. Pass to the far side. Kearney. Looking further ahead for Bins now. Bins trying to drive into the basket outside. Could be gone here for Favors. Double team forced out of bounds. And which way is it going to stay? You see the conversation there between Favors. Looks like it'll stay Tartan ball. It'll be a sideline thrown from that far side. Two point game. It's a third foul tonight going against Brandon Hickman. There's a 15 foul in the second half for North. Around the screen. Singer backs it up, looking to restart play. Singer trying to drive into the paint, tried to pull it up at the elbow, no good. Kearney will have the possession now as he works back to the point. Kearney, interior pass, no, it's going back out to the sideline. Work here loud here at North High Gym for three. That'll silence the crowd as Langston bends onto the board again. 15 points tonight for the 6'2 senior. Alex, he created a little bit of separation there. Once he did that, he just put up that shot. No hesitation, no anything else. Just knew what he was going to do. It's almost a moment here where you can hear a pin drop anytime a ball is up for North High. At least headed to the basket. Here's Kearney again. Kearney with 17, Bins with 15. Deep three ball for Singer is no. Can be rebounded here by Sean West Simple. North High looking to reset. The lead for Tartan is five. Driving into the lane, Muhammad dishes out. Wide open look here for Langford Johnson, no good. Rebound controlled by Sean West Simple. You mentioned Jordan, offensive rebound is going to be huge, and North has come up big on this possession, but Dorian Singer back the way, looking for the alley up, and it's in. And a timeout call by Tartan. Yeah, definitely. I think the St. Paul took a really smart timeout right there. They definitely have to regroup and, uh, you know, just take a breath and really just get their heads back in this. 427 remaining, 53 Tartan, 46 North. And again, not quite the dunk he was looking for, but a nice play that time by Dorian Singer to go up and get to it. He's got 10 points on the nine for Tartan. And again, the lead is six between these two teams. Again, you take a look at it, the 4-4A bracket. The winner of this one gets either Eastridge or Stillwater on Saturday at Hastings High School. That game time scheduled for seven. On the other side of the bracket, White Bear Lake at Woodbury and St. Paul Central at Creighton Durham Hall High School. Again, a very tough section, very Metro East and Suburban East Conference heavy section. And anyone who gets out of here is certainly going to have a very high chance of playing for a state title. Oh, absolutely, Alex. You know, I mean, when, when you get to this level, it, it, in this kind of competition, this is would definitely hold some momentum, let's put it that way. When, if you can, um, you know, 
come into this with a W, you're, you're going to have that and carry that into your next game. Two teams talking again here. Some great action between these two teams, as we so often ex expect between the two of them. Tartan Athletic Director Brian Munter standing to our right. Again, we check the 4-4 A scoreboard. Some teams played last night, or no, they didn't. Everybody's playing tonight. So we have no idea what the scores are at this point in time. And it'll be a baseline inbound here for North. They trail by six, back into the front court. Langford Johnson. Seven points in the night for Tartan, one of the, or for North, one of the leaders that needs to stand up. One of the far side, nobody there. As he went out of bounds that time. And it'll be another baseline throw and upcoming here for Tartan. Back in the front court, North will go back in their full court press. They've cut the lead to two here most recently around the screen. Trying to go back far side here into the front court now for the Titans. As it spins, spun further now for Carney, who leads the Titans in scoring with 17. Favors trying to work around, trying to drive into the paint. Dishes it back out for Kearney around the three point line. Here's Kearney again. Kearney trying to drive into the paint, trying to go up with it, right handed, up and good! The lead now nine for Tartan. Back the other way, driving in Langstreet Bins, trying to draw the foul. No ball is loose, can be rebound gotten to here again by Kearney. North going back to that full court press, unsuccessful here as they'll have an odd man rush. Can be taken here now, Favors. Favors for Kearney again. Kearney trying to drive to the basket, cuts it back here for Dorian Singer. Singer looking for some ball movement, interior pass looking for Favors. What a run to the basket. Unbelievable ball movement there by Tartan, and the lead now 11. Yeah, Alex, that was an amazing cut. He knew exactly where he was going, and that was a pinpoint pass. Shahid Muhammad back into the scoreboard. Deficit cut to nine again for North. 16 points on the nine for Muhammad as the Titans look to retake possession. Full court press back on. Good ball movement here from Kearney as he'll take it in on the near side. Kearney trying to work around the ball screen is no good. Here on the near side looking for Lay Kaita. Kaita looking further for Singer now. Singer will have an open look to the lane, but he chooses to cut it back. Wisely so to wind as much of this clock down as he can. Here's Singer. I'll let pass along the wing can be gone further for Kearney. Here's Favors again. Favors. Working around the defense that time. Good at that. Kaita here at the point. All the way back and a foul on the inside. And this is where North St. Paul, if they want a chance in this game, foul might be their best bet. Oh, absolutely, Alex. It looks like they're uh, kind of fighting with the clock right now. So, I mean, being down by nine points, they definitely need to do something. It's the first foul of the game on Shahid Muhammad. He has 16 points tonight. That's a sixth team foul. For North, so they did have a foul to give, and they chose to take it there. Pass back into the backcourt, can be gone to again here by Singer. Singer trying to drive to the lane, trying to look for the foul, got it back further for Kaita, back for Singer again here in the corner. Singer, double team, the foul inside there that time on West Simple. That'll be number four for him, and that should be a trip to the line for a one and one. Yeah, looks, looks like he just got a little bit too much of the body and not enough ball there. So 17 fouls for North. It's a third foul called as it'll go against Sean West Zimple. And at the free throw line for a one and one situation, it'll be Dorian Singer. 2.10 remaining. Tartan 57, North 48. Singer missed the first shot, and that's exactly how that foul game can work for you. Chance now to work here in the perimeter. Corner three, ball is no good. Too strong, rebound gotten to again by Singer. Singer pass further for Bins. Bins, long pass further into the front court for Kaida. Back again here for Favors. Great ball movement by the Titans. Foul on the interior pass. This one will go against Laron Thomas. And now they'll head back to the line for the one and one again. Yeah, Alex, they definitely took advantage of the fact that they were beating the defense back up the court there. And uh, once they did that, they had no choice but to fall. So at the free throw line, shooting the one and one here for Tartan. It'll be Langston Benz, who has 15 points on the night for, tight, for the Titans. First shot is good. He'll go back. He'll do it again. That's 16 as the lead has increased to 10 again inside of two minutes. And we mentioned back at halftime, the record for Tartan when trailing after the half was three and two. Both of their losses came against the North High Polars. It would be quite poetic if they're able to hold on here to this one. Oh, absolutely. Statistics don't lie. Ball out of 
of bounds. North High, too many errors at this point in the game. Yeah, I think that this is the point where rush shots and uh, you know unforced turnovers really start to take their toll. Ball back inbound again, full court pressure. We got a whistle and a travel called. Because that'll go against Dorian Singer and another front court possession here with the 11-point lead for the Titans. Looks like he just took a little too much of a stutter step there, Alex, and the refs are quick to see that. Sideline inbound. Can be gotten to again here for Muhammad. Muhammad trying to drive into the paint, goes up to the rack, no good. And the rebound again controlled by the Tartan Titans. And so much of the offense here as a foul goes, it's called against North. They'll head to the line again for the Titans for another one and one. So much of this offense for the Polars relies on that man, number three, Shahid Muhammad. And so much tonight, the shots have been rushed. They haven't been able to set up in that front court, and it's really hurt them. Yeah, Alex, again, when they do have that shot, it seems to be rushed. And unfortunately, Muhammad just hasn't really been able to shoot tonight. And it's a really rough night to, you know, kind of be off your game. Singer hits the first attempt. He's got 11 tonight. That's his average, just a little over 11. And Singer will have the second chance here. The Titans lead by 12, a minute 35 remaining. Second shot is good. It converts a 13-point lead now, 12 points in the ninth. And again, so much of this Tartan offense relies on the ball being spread out and distributed evenly, and that's exactly what their MO has been tonight. As a shot that time from Ron Thomas is no good. Another foul on the inside, fouled on Singer. That'll be the 10th team foul. And that will be the, should be the double bonus upcoming here. That'll be the second foul going against Laurent Thomas. And he'll head to the line. It'll be Dorian Singer again with 12. Singer again with a one-on-one. -on -one. The Titans lead by 13. Shot is good. It's 12 points now for Singer. And again, the entire Titan side of the stands here at the North High Gymnasium on their feet, cheering on their Titans. They lost both matchups in the regular season, but certainly look to be on their way towards the semifinal date with the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders. 15 points the lead now for the Tartan Titans. Ball inbounded, can be gone to here. They'll try to drive to the basket, trying to work their way in, all the way past back out to Laron Thomas is no good, too strong off the rebound again. He's fouled away from the ball, and we'll have that back to the other side of the court. Yeah, Alex, at this point, I feel like it might just be a little bit too late here for North St. Paul, and you know what? Tartans are probably starting to celebrate a little bit in their head, and uh, they're just playing smart. So at this point, with it being a rivalry game, at what point do you stop fouling? It's a 15-point game, a minute and 17 left in the second half. At what point do you just realize it's not going your way tonight? I'd probably wait for inside 30 seconds here, Alex, and once that happens, I'm sure they'll just probably let the clock run out. It's a five-possession game, as five threes would do it for North. Over time, not on their side. It's Kaita, the second of a one and one, uh, the second of a two-basket chance. He misses both. Rebound can be controlled here back in the front court. Brendan Langford Johnson. Langford Johnson works around here, gets it for Muhammad. Muhammad trying to drive it to the lane. It's up and again, no good as a rush shot. Will not do it. They'll try to get the ball away from him. Again, reaching in here on Dorian Singer. Singer trying to run away from the play. Singer's able to get around the play, but now there's a foul that's called. It'll be a foul that will go against this time, Sean West Zimple. That'll be number four on the night for him. Many of these North High starters into the game now are in their third foul. West Simple on his fourth, as that'll be foul number 12 here in the second half. And now a two-shot opportunity here for Dorian Singer. Misses it first, inside a minute to go, 59.5 remaining. For the Tartan Titans, they look to be on to their next matchup, which would fall against the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders. They did not... Eastridge, I apologize. Thank you to our friends David in the truck. As we look at the regular season schedule, they did not play each other at any point in time. And now Muhammad with a deep three ball. It's no good off the back iron. And again, just ice cold for as strong as the Polars have started the first half. They've been ice cold since foul away from the ball. We'll head back in the line and do it again. Yeah, Alex, it just seems like, you know, unfortunately Muhammad's been off his game tonight and Tartans realize that, and they've just been able to capitalize on their shots. 
So head back to the line again. It's number 12, C.J. Favors. Favors, who has 11 points of the night, two fouls for Tartan. And 46.8 seconds remaining. First shot from him is no good again. And the lead's still 16 now for Tartan. North is led by as many as eight. Tartan did not lead throughout much of the first half and much of the second half, but just really started to run away with this one. As it's missed both times that time by C.J. Favors. Back into the front court comes the North High Polars. Trying to drive into the lane, dishes it back out this time for Hickman for three. It's good. Too little, too late, but a nice shot for Brandon Hickman there as he's at eight points in the night now for North as they trail by 13. Long pass is picked up here again by Favors, looking further for Kaita. Kaita inside 30 seconds, interior pass looking for Benz, who lost it. It'll go back the other way, 23 seconds remaining. You know, Alex, it looks like they were still looking for the shot there. I, I don't know if I understand that necessarily. I think at this point maybe you just want to run out the clock, but I don't know. West Zimple up and in for 12. And we're going to have a foul away from the ball as this one will go against uh, Brendan Langford Johnson, excuse me. And that'll be his fourth. And back to the line, Joe Kearney. And really, Jordan, this game turn for tight for the Tartan Titans. We'll have a timeout here with 14.8 remaining. This game really turned when Joe Kearney started to get red hot. He was at four points, but then 15 points in the span of about five minutes really is what gave Tartan the advantage and the lead and most likely the win in this contest tonight. Yeah, absolutely, Alex. He, uh, you know, it seemed like he really turned, turned the, uh, the heat on at the right time, if you will. Um, he knew what he had to do, and he really stepped up as a leader. Meanwhile, on the other side for North, we've talked about it much here in the last two minutes. The leading basket getters as the something was announced here. I'm not sure what. Looks like they're making some substitutions here, perhaps. Well, either way. For North High, who was doing so well at the start of that half, they really just got ice cold. The shots were coming way too frequently. Oh yeah, Alex. Um, you know, they, again, they just really seemed rushed. And they, I don't know. They weren't ready to shoot that shot. Second chance at the line here for uh, Carney. He's got 19 points in the night. Singer with 15. As the next shot is good. 65-53 the score now. 12-point lead for the Titans as opposed to Bring it into the front court. Jacked up three ball is no good. Up into the air, rebounded by Kaida. And seven seconds left and five. Pass way up into the front court. Can be gotten to here by Kearney. Kearney will dribble it out. And an upset in the making. As a 6-2-2 rivalry goes head to head once again. A great finish by the Tartan Titans as they finish off North High, 65-53. And coming into this matchup, I don't know that anyone in the state expected this score, especially with the two victories that North High had over Tartan in the regular season. Yeah, Alex, you know, they do say, though, that that third time's a charm. And, uh, you know, you really learn a lot about somebody in the regular season. If you make those playoffs, though, it's the start of a new season almost. So they took the game. Meanwhile, on the other side for North High, disappointment, frustration, anger, and just not the effort in that late start of the second half that they were looking for. As you see again, head coach Damian Johnson control, consoling his players in an effort tonight which was so strong at the start, but then just fizzled out at the end of the contest. Yeah, definitely, Alex. You know, it just, it seemed like maybe they just, I don't know, they just didn't really, they weren't able to really get going, you know? And so the Tartan Titans victorious here at North High, and you see the fans celebrating on the court of the North High Polars. As we look at, again, the regular season matchup last year, North lost in the playoffs, 83-65. It'll be a similarly deficit, a similarly deficited victory for Tartan here tonight, and they will head off to play most likely against the Eastridge Raptors coming up this Saturday in the Section 4-4-4-4-A semifinal round. Jordan, we want to thank you again for joining us here tonight, and. Certainly a lot of basketball and a lot of fun that we've had this season. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Alex, and I uh, look forward to doing it again. For Arlen Becker, David Schuyler, Ian Felix, and our entire SCC TV broadcast crew, for Jordan Gustafson, I'm Alex Westhead. The final score, Tartan 65, North High 53, as the Titans will advance to the section semifinals on Saturday the 7th.
This is your home for Titans and Polar Boys Basketball.